Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this right here is a 10 transistor VEF204 radio. These were made in the 1970s in the USSR, and if you want to learn more about this radio specifically, there's a fantastic video from Lockdown Electronics. Very informative, taught me a lot, would highly recommend checking that out. But what am I going to do with this? I'm going to turn it into a guitar amp. Now this is a really fun modification, I've done it a number of times before, more so with retro radios, this is the real deal vintage stuff, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this sounds. So let me just show you a few of the features that this does have. On the top we have our antenna which is absolutely enormous and I love it. We have two controls on the front, we have our tuning knob here and on the bottom we have our volume. This is also our on and off switch. Uh, as you can hear it's a little bit crackly at present but hopefully a bit of contact cleaner will sort that out. On the side at the top we have our control to go through the eight different wave bands that this radio has and on the bottom we have our tone control as well. So I'm not going to do a whole lot to modify this, pretty simple, just attaching a quarter inch jack to our volume control. In theory, something that's going to be nice and easy in practice. Let's find out. Now we've got this mod all wrapped up, let's plug it in and see how it sounds.
So there we go, this vintage transistor radio turned into a guitar amp. This has been a lot of fun to work on as they always are really. I love making these and I love using these. This one in particular really surprised me. I thought it was gonna have a very fuzzy, distorted tone, but it came out surprisingly clean, which I guess goes to show that looks can be deceiving. A couple of the guitars did cause it to get a little bit feisty. That's more so down to the pickups being a bit hot, having a higher output, causing it to break up a bit. Part of the intrigue I always have of making radio guitar amps is that you don't know exactly what you're gonna end up with when you start. It's all part of the surprise. It's it's all part of the fun. This isn't the loudest. It makes for a good little practice amp at home. Could you take this to a gig? If it's a pretty small gig, you might get away with it. Otherwise, it's just a good bit of fun to have sitting around at home, maybe in the studio as well if you wanted to mic it up. Part of the reason I like this style of amp so much is because the ideas it brings out very much in the same sense of two different guitars will make me play in a different way. And the ideas that I'll get from plugging into this will be different from the ideas I get plugging into a Marshall stack. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something you dig? Is it something you've done before yourself? Is it something you're gonna go away and do for yourself? Let me know all your thoughts and feelings and until the next time, keep it weird and keep it wired. Hmm, weird and wired.